Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This is my second week reviewing Earthborn Organics in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. I just recorded a review this morning of my using the Camellia, oof, I don't have it with me. The Camellia Deep Conditioning Mask, I think it's called, versus the Melanin Hair Care. Last week, I had mentioned that I would be using the Camellia as my deep conditioner this week, but that is before I noticed it is also a pre-poo. It's a deep conditioner, a pre-poo, and a conditioner. So if you notice something different about this video, it's actually still daylight right now. You might think that that means that you're going to catch me in some regular clothes, but I am still wearing pajamas because I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day. So let's get started with the three facts, and then I will give you my thoughts from today's wash day, and then we'll get started with this week's style. It is week two, so that will be my braid out. Fact one, the founder, Erica Morgan, as mentioned in last week's video, came from a place of hating her curly hair. She wanted that long, straight, silky hair that so many of us, when we were younger or whenever, wanted before we decided to embrace our natural, curly, kinky, coily textures. But she did decide to go natural, and she did that through transitioning. I'm not sure how long, but that was her process. Fact two, given her decision to accept her hair and all of its curliness, she took to the ingredient list, just like so many other safe natural hair brands that I review, and decided that she was gonna give her hair the best chance. So she from there created her own product line and that is what she has brought to the public. And I thank her for doing that because now we all get to enjoy Earthborn Organics. Fact three, like some of the other brands, I do have a newsletter you can sign up for. You can sign up there to get news on promotions, new products, and sales. Speaking of sales, you can use Amanda Krambis at checkout for 20% off. Okay, so let's get into my thoughts. So I use the Camellia conditioning mask on this side for the pre-poo, and then I use the Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner on this side. When I went to go rinse out my pre-poo, and I have some footage that I will insert, So just like I noticed last week when I use these products, they take a little bit of time to start working. This also smells better. This is more of that like menthol-y mint smell, but like a relatively weak one. And this just <laughs> smells like a dream. I then went on to use the Aloe Curl Cleanser and the Cocum Butter Deep Conditioning Mask. I think that's what it's called. The whole way through, I did notice that this side of my hair stayed better detangled the whole time. So my conclusion, based on what I've experienced, is that I prefer this as a pre-poo to this. This had good slip when I first put it on. Just to note, this had better slip. Mm, I forgot to mention. So my hair felt fantastic up until my putting in the Cocum Butter Deep Conditioner. Because I'm also trying to do my hair earlier today, I ended up sitting under the hooded dryer for 35 minutes or so versus the like four to six hours I usually keep in deep conditioners. When I went to go rinse out my hair, it didn't feel fantastic, it felt okay. Which kind of reminds me of how it felt last week when I don't remember being wowed when I was first using it. It was only when I was done with my wash day process and I was taking out my hair that I felt the amazingness that was my hair. By the way, I didn't mention this here either, sorry, I'm all over the place. My hair held up insanely well over seven days. 
my day seven hair was still defined and still incredibly moisturized and still shiny. I have the aloe leave-in conditioner in my hair right now. Just like last week, I'll be following up with the cream styling gel and the stimulating growth oil. When I rinsed out the deep conditioner, my hair wasn't feeling great. And then I put in the aloe leave-in conditioner and it felt great again and it still feels great. Sorry. Mm. Last week when I applied this product on top of the leave-in conditioner, I didn't feel a difference. This time when I just put it on, I feel like it got even more slippery and nice feeling. See you. Ah, oh, there's that shine. This oil creates a lot of shine. What I've been doing recently, because sometimes I do my braids way too tightly, at the very root, I braid tightly enough that there's gonna be stretch, but I don't like really, really, really tighten it, and I don't follow up with really tight braids after. So I'll do one or two tight enough to stretch braid, you know, twists. And then I will do two relatively loose ones. And then after that, I'll then go in with the jaws of life again and make sure it's a tight braid because that tight braid is what's gonna allow you that definition. But it doesn't end up pulling on my scalp as much anymore. Okay, I'm getting toward the bottom. This is a lot of thickness for me to deal with, but I'm gonna go down as far as I can. I am going to carefully, again, something I recently started doing again. When I do things like this, you can't really quote me on things I've said in the past about never using tools because I update my routine based on what my hair needs and wants, and I'm very careful. This is how I am combing out my ends because I need them to, you know, come together a little bit more than I feel like this puff is going to. So if I'm going through like this and I see that I'm getting some resistance, instead of pushing all the way through because my hands are not available, I now go through with the tail of my rat tail. Okay, this. I'm not gonna push through. So this, I'm gonna make my fingers available. Oh, no, I got it. Gently, and I didn't pull the hair out. That was great. Okay, so yeah, pretty much when I get to the end, I need to get that smoothness, but I'm very delicate in how I get that smoothness. So it might take a little bit, see? Now I'm all the way through. And I didn't pull out any hair. I actually didn't need to cut a single, single strand knot today. So it's a lot easier to comb my ends. So there we go. There might be a couple of hairs in there, but that's like nothing. I see, I see one hair in there. See how long it takes me this time. If I could really do sections this big, I feel like I've never done a section this big before, or I did my two-toed method. And I did that at the time because that was what my hair needed. I feel like now I can actually get away with this. And this all, I believe relates to my hair getting longer. To give the coil the best chance, I'm now combining those two twist sections and then I'm just gonna twirl away. Now I'm gonna apply my mango butter on the way end. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out which way it goes. Okay, this way is the way it's naturally curling. Now I'm gonna twist here for probably like, a good probably like 30 seconds. Ooh, got a hair sticking out. I messed up my coil. Okay. All right. Now I am going to pin it to my root so it'll stay. Another thing I started doing a few weeks ago is just taking small sections at the top and braiding those because it helps with frizz. So I'm going to braid this section. I'm going to continue with my process and I'll be back. So it's now dark, but it is not all that late. It's like seven... 39. It's so early. Um, my hair was not, well, actually I didn't check. I don't know if it's set enough since I'm not going to bed immediately. I don't mind having all these clips in my hair. So I am going to take them out before I go to bed, but here's my hair. All right, let's do this. My twists feel really good. They don't feel as good as they felt last week for some reason, but I've been finding sometimes that all that moisture is locked within these little contraptions that I put into my hair. So let's, let's just wait. I'm going to use my main like me hair and scalp oil. Oh 
I'm a little bit worried because I did bigger sections this time than I normally do. And that usually ends with, and that usually gives me puffy ends. Look at that. This definition feels very secure. Okay, first braid is out. And yeah, now that it's out, it feels just as well moisturized and hydrated and all that as it did last week. And you can see the shine. Pre-separation peak. Another week of incredibly soft and healthy, shiny, moisturized, feeling hair and defined. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but I recently have been trying to move away from the big hair because I kind of just like the more definition and just more hang time versus like the really big styles that I feel like I have been getting. I don't know if it's just a coincidence or something that I've changed in my routine of twisting and braiding and all of that, or it's just that these products don't yield bigger results. This is actually exactly the kind of look that I have been going for, and I just happen to be getting it. I don't know what would have been different with the other brands where I had bigger hair, because I just feel like thinking about it, my light just went out, sorry. My hair had been really, really big with the last few products that I've used, but it's just, it's not right now. I really like these results. My hair feels fantastic. And this is just another really, really great week. I mentioned this on my Instagram and I'm gonna mention it here as well. I never talked about this before. I don't know how I haven't, I guess because it doesn't happen very often, but I have a scab from when I was in kindergarten and got the chicken pox. And every, probably several months, but not in any kind of like schedule, I get really tender headed around the crown of my head and it is surrounding like some leftover scabs from my chicken pox from, from kindergarten. So I assume it has to do with that. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, I have never been able to combat that when it flares up. It's very sensitive. Even just going like this on my scalp hurts. So that happened again this weekend. So I was looking at the sprays that I had, just something to like concentrate in that area to see if anything could help. And I used my Taipei Naturals Hair and Scalp Tonic and the pain went away. That has never happened before. So I am, I actually do really, really love this product. I think it's fantastic, but I'm in awe that it actually got rid of that pain. So not at all related to the Earthborn Organics, but just wanted to throw that in there. That brings me to the end of this video. Ooh, I found a single strand knot, hold on. That brings me to the end of this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks and have a good one.